Okay. Hi, uh, Mark Lolovich from Remax Preferred Realty. I'm here with my son Russell, who's doing the video, uh, to give a, a short video clip on 444 Park Street here in Windsor. Uh, this is a 36 unit uh, apartment building. Uh, it's being sold, uh, it's a power sale through uh, the National Bank, uh, listed by uh, our company, Remax Preferred Realty. Um, just to give you a quick summary of the property, it's a 36 unit. Uh, we have 15 one bedrooms and 21 uh, bachelors. Um, the bachelors, uh, there's two types of bachelors. There's a smaller version, which we'll show you, six of those, and then there's 15 of the larger bachelors. So again, total of 36 units listed for sale at 699. We're going to come in now and do a quick turn tour. Okay, so you come in the main hall here. And uh, the building does need some rework. Uh, there's no question that there's a renovation to be done in here. Um, I uh, just show you the first unit here, which is a uh, which is a, sorry uh, the other side here, which is a smaller version of the bachelor. You can see in here you have a kind of living room, sitting room. Uh, there's a small kitchen, galley style kitchen uh, over to this side. And then there's uh, more or less a walk-through closet. And then a, a bathroom to the uh, left. Again, this is the smaller version, uh, one bedroom, or sorry, bachelor. And you can see the bathroom in there. It's a typical little type of work that's needed in this building. And uh, so just to give you an idea of the setup with this particular unit. And then we're going to go back in the hall. And Russell will take a view down the hallway here so you can see uh, what the hall setups are like. Right into that hall, Russ, just shoot the hall down there. Show the entire length of the building. We're basically looking at 12 units per floor. And then the next unit I want to show you is a uh, uh, sort of a larger version of the bachelor. You can see you almost have a bedroom size walkthrough area to the um, into the bath. small galley kitchen again. Again, everything is in need of work here. There's no question there's restoration work and reconditioning to do, but I think there's real solid value in this building at the price that it's listed at. Okay, and if we go upstairs, we're going to look at a large one bedroom. hallway in the building. <laughs> we are showing in the hallway there there was a there is a roof problem here. There's uh, definitely uh, some roof work to be done here. So here's your one back there. Okay, so we're back out in the hallway, and uh, what we're going to do is go down into the lower level, take a look at the uh, laundry room and the uh, furnace room, and uh, take a few shots of the exterior of the building just to give you, uh, you know, a good overview of the property. Okay, we're back to the first floor here. Okay, we're going by the main entrance. Mailbox. 
and then we're into the lower level. This is a half low grade space. Um, again, you get a good idea of the hallways, similar to the you know, first and second floor. Basically, reasonably good condition as far as the halls and common areas go. around here just take a look at the the panels um, if you look at the breaker system here breaker setup uh, this has been updated uh, not, not too recently so um, but I think that from an electrical standpoint uh, the equipment looks to be fairly up to date again there's a shot of the laundry room System radiator, um, and it, you know, it, it appears to be in fairly decent condition. It's obviously been maintained uh, the last few years. The building is still occupied by tenants, and then there's the hot water systems. Okay, so I'll just go out of here. And if you want, Russ, just head out to the back door and we'll go that way. area in the back um, and, and there's a side lot on the west side of the building and now we're going to show you the alley side which is the east side in the perspective of the exterior. So there's a view of the east side of the building. You can see it's, uh, it's in reasonably good repair. up uh, gives you basically a quick overview of the property there are a few things I would point out to you uh, there was a, a roof issue as you saw in one of the hallways uh, from that um, and the, from the building falling in some somewhat into disrepair between the prior owner and uh, the bank exercising the power of sale uh, there was some evidence of mold in there uh, there is evidence of mold in there there is a full report which we can provide any prospective buyer interested and uh, you know, there's currently 20 vacancies in the property. There's only 10 units uh, currently occupied. 26. And, uh, you know, we're, you know, obviously promoting this to people who are serious landlord investors looking at a real good turnaround potential. So that gives you a good snapshot of the property. Again, I'm Mark Lelovich from Remax Preferred Realty. I can be reached at 519-966-0444. Uh, uh, give us a call uh, for further information. Thank you.